Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, uh, which I apparently have done at some point. Uh, today we have 38, we have count and say. Uh, yeah, what I'm counting is that I'm counting my days down to my travel, uh, so I'm very excited about that. And like I said, if you have tips, uh, or if you're in the politics and you want to, you know, in the area uh, of, you know, the three capital cities, uh, let me know. We'll see if we could grab food or something. I don't know. Um, my, honestly, I, 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 it's one of those things where I wish I had more days. It always feels like, you know, there's more to do as I search and search. But, uh, but it'll be fine. It'll be good. I, I'll, I'll enjoy it. But definitely let me know. Uh, today, I just kind of did bench and a little couple of things and then just rest uh, i think i need to get remember uh, i think one thing that i want to say is that you have to sleep and you have to rest you have to recover right um it is true for learning and it is true for workouts right it is when you're sleeping and recovering it is when you're it is then it is when your brain is learning actually doing the learning and when you're actually um you know, you're actually growing, right? So definitely, you know, keep that in mind. I think it's something that I'm really bad at, frankly, uh, and trying to be a little bit better about, but, you know, there you go. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 38, we have count and say. We, let's go. Count and say one is one. Okay, count and say n is the one length encoding of count and say of r n minus one. So you means you start at one, one one two one one two one one and so forth right of course you can there's only 30 of them so it's okay and of course you can solve it recursively um but can you solve them iteratively i mean i don't think there's anything that tricky about solving them iteratively but i think it is a good practice for practicing um uh dynamic programming and or converting from uh memorization to dynamic programming i think maybe so let, let's do it that way then right uh okay so, but it's, I don't know, there's really not much to it. So here we have maybe current is equal to one, and maybe we'll be off by one, but that's fine, right? So we have to do, 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 do right? Um, n minus one because uh, that's the number of times we have to change from the base case. So yeah, uh, and then maybe next is to go to, we'll just throw it in a way, right? So here, um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we can, and I'm going to be a little bit lazy. You can use group by, right? I mean, you could create your own group by for sure. But uh, but yeah, this is how I would write it, right? So group by of current, right? Uh, and then the length of the list of T converted. Um, and is this, the string version of this plus X, it, uh, then we can append it, right? And that should be good, mostly. And then now we just update current is equal to the, we convert it back to full string and we are good, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah looks good here. Uh, of course, we can just trivially put in number three, the max case to kind of work it out. Looks okay. I ex yeah, I expect it to be a ridiculously big number and it looks like a ridiculously big number. So we could give, go ahead and give a quick submit. And there you go, 1844. Um, I don't know if there's anything too tricky about this one. It's just implementing what they, you know, what what they tell you to do. Uh, what is the complex there, right? It turns out, of course, um, I was trying to think whether this is exponential, right? Intuitively, it feels exponential, but honestly, I don't know exactly. Um, it is a sequence that comes up here and there, but... Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how it could not be exponential, but eh, but yeah. So but that's why it, it only goes up to thirty, right? So maybe I could just for science, I can print out the length. And yeah, or if mm, that's not as big as I thought. I mean, that sounds like it could actually be like roughly a little bit super quadratic or something, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that would be the complexity, though. The complexity is the size of the output um, times n, I suppose. So so that's how I would uh, phrase it. Uh, it is output sensitive. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, because, uh, you know, the size of the output go goes to the next one, man. And the growth of this function is kind of baked into that complexity. But yeah, uh, it is all I have with this one, though. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. 
and yeah, it's an implementation problem. So I don't know that there's any algo that you know uh, uh, talk about. I mean, of course, you can kind of solve it iteratively or whatever. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend coming up. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.